Yo, what is up guys? Ezum here and today we're gonna go over the basics of base building. Yes, nothing super advanced, just su super basic stuff just to get you started because it took me a while to figure out majority of the things I know now. Now to get started, make sure you find a planet you want to build on. That way you don't keep popping planets. I mean, you can place uh, not as many at, at, at default. I think you can only place eight outposts, but if you press P and you go to science, uh, planetary habitat, uh, habitation you can actually increase your build limit and or maximum number of outpost and um yeah so and also you could build in extreme weather gravity and all that other nonsense temperatures so that's something to look forward to if you're looking to just expand your outpost now if you press f and on the bottom it says outpost and in parentheses the number of outposts you can build minus five because i've already placed three two or three of them so i'm going to press r and this is your outpost beacon which you need nickel and water so you can place it down confirm and it'll probably so show you some information like it just did me and you go up to it and you can press e to build and this will show your build menu and i'll and uh whatever you need to know and you can also press escape, go up to it again, press R to rename it. Or if you ever want to remove an outpost, this took me a little bit to understand as well. You can hold R and remove it. And it'll say removing outpost is permanent. Proceed with removal. And yes. Okay, now I'm at my base so I can show you guys how building works. So at any given time, you want to prompt your building and so you don't want to keep going back and forth through the, your, your beacon to press E to build. You can press F and then press R. Because you already have an outpost down in the radius. So it's just going to prompt you with the build menu. And press tab to go to build mode. And press Z and C to move left and right. And I'm going to go to close to the middle of the tabs. And... To basically start everything off, you want an outpost airlock. And this will start you off. So, press E to build. Now, what you want to do at, at the moment is, in first person view, you can build it at the moment. Or you can set the height of it. Press uh, confirm uh, E once to confirm, but don't press it again. And you can build, it. there is a limit, but you can build it as tall as the limit. So... Well, under the limit. So I'm going to build it at least right here. Sometimes it will give you errors. Like if it's too too low, it will give you some errors. So it probably has to be up higher. So I'm going to confirm with E. And if it's not building something, it's probably because your companion or something is in the way. Which he's probably going to be in my way at the moment. And what I can do now is press V for my view. Or I can press middle mouse button for my view. And you're also wondering, like, how am I going to move the camera other than left and right? Well, if you want to zoom in your camera, move your mouse up and down like, like this. Just literally up and down. Like you're aiming up and down with your weapon. That's, that's how you move the camera up and down. All right. Now I want to press tab to go to build mode. And you can place down your basic four wall hab or hydroponic hab. And if you press Q and T, or T, you can actually uh, sift through the variations, which there aren't really many that many, but I mean, they're there, right? So I'm going to place down this little uh, four wall hab and I'm going to go to, I'm going to press tab and I'm going to go to modify tab and you can actually modify and change th uh, the walls or the doorways as well. So I can just do this well if I don't like that I can change it if I don't like that I can change it again or I can just be make it a solid wall right now at any time you want to delete something you can go to modify mode and delete all right now I'm gonna go back to view mode I'm gonna go to build mode now if you ever want to stack something like this right here like these are stacked just go to your four wall hab and press Q for your full wall hab double and then press E to build. Now this is this the double is basically your stack. So you can 
pretty much place anything that'll stack. Um, I'm not sure if hydroponic stacks, which, uh, let me see if it does. It actually does. So it, it seems like anything will stack at the moment. And another thing to know on this one is you can actually stack the hex as well. And if it says, if, if it gives you this error, it's probably because you're clo too close to something. I think it's just the hill right here for me. So I'm, I'm just going to choose a small hex tab and I'm going to go up and build two on top. So that's how you're going to get your stack, right? If I want to go inside, for example, before you go in, if you're still in your build menu or, your, or excuse me, your modify mode. So I'm going to switch from build mode to modify mode. You can stay in modify mode and open the door. As long as you're in modify mode, you can open the door and you can stay in this little, uh, this little area or, you know, you could just walk in and prompt you with F and R to, to prompt the build menu or the modify menu. And I could change the, these to windows. All right. And I can make the doorway wider. Sick, right? Look at that. And there's different variations of things. It's not too many variations. I like the large. I like the large uh, habitat or hab because the windows are way bigger, like longer. Now, for example, if you don't want your buildings to be stacked like this, well, you can actually build your four wall hab and you can keep it there, right? So I'm going to go first person mode. And if you, if you just want this up here and you don't want this, just delete the one on the bottom and the, the, the ground or concrete or whatever lifts up and it will support it. That way it, everything's lifted up and you don't have to worry about the one on the bottom. You just go on the top. Which, I'm not really sure why I would do that, but I mean, it's something to know that you can do that. Uh, one more basic thing to know is if you ever want to build storage boxes and stuff, um, it requires structural, right? Now, you're, you're thinking, what is structural? Is that created in the industrial workbench? It is not, actually. Uh, on my planet, I actually have roots, and those are structural. So if I go to my inventory, go to resources and I scroll down to structural root, as long as it says structural, structural, y you can build with this material. So I have eight of them and one's a stock, one's a root. So you just find plants basically, and they will give you structural, which I didn't know that I went to the industrial workbench to try to build it uh, because it's it like something that you could craft, right? But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and sub. And later on, I will do a video on more advanced, advanced by mining and your cargo link and also your landing pad with ship builder and all the other nonsense that you go through that I will show you later. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.